Who is a frenemy? Frenemy is a combination of the words friend and enemy. So your frenemy is a person who poses to be your friend yet maintains the able position of being your enemy. So together, they are your frenemies. They do not want to see you move ahead because, oh well, that's what your enemies do. But they're always there for you in the right amount because that's what friends do. Hello and welcome to another episode of BK Says. I am BK. Well, let's talk about frenemies. Let's talk about people that you think are for you, but honestly, they're just wolf in sheep's clothing. When I was in JSS 1, that junior secondary school 1, my first year in secondary school, I had this school sister, we had this thing where seniors would pick younger ones to mentor and they would be like their school mothers and they kind of have school fathers. So I had this school mother who had another school daughter, who was that means she was my school sister, right? And uh, every single time seniors would send her to get someone because we were really close, like sister, sister, this, sister, that. And anytime seniors would send her to get um one junior girl there's this thing they call one girl right they do ask you to send one girl for them to send that's one person from their class or one person from their set and every single time um she my school sister was told to call uh, one girl she'll come and tell me oh senior xyz is calling you and i'll just waltz in there believing that my my sister would never uh betray me or would never throw me under the bus then i realized that oh i'm giving a paint bucket to go and get water or i'm giving and a very lengthy errand go to get this go to buy this and with time i realized every single time she was told to call one girl I was the girl to go. I was the girl she was calling. And all this time I thought, oh, we're friends, we're school sisters, we're supposed to be chummy chummy, we're supposed to be close. Meanwhile, she just honestly put me under the bus every single time. And I didn't notice it until first term had passed and second term had gone by. And by third term, I'm like, hold up. So this is what you're doing. Always throwing me under the bus. I was thinking about this within the week and it struck me. Sometimes we see people as people that complete us or our friends when in reality they are not rooting for you there are signs you have to look out for in people to make sure they're friends some of us are go all out in friendship some of us take care of people out of our kind heart or goodwill or just by nature but you have to be careful now it doesn't mean you necessarily have to cultivate trust issues with a lot of people have we'll talk about that some other time but it means you're just being careful about what you are doing because people can be tricky so there are certain uh things that people that are your frenemies can exhibit that will help you to pick up on them certain traits that frenemies exhibit uh i'll be listing a few that i've experienced that i've met people who have experienced that i've heard of generally and uh here it is the first one is frenemies always want your attention and not in a good way it's like I should be your son. Every other thing should revolve around me. Everything should revolve around me. Mm -hmm. Once a person, your friend starts doing that, like, don't have your own life. Everything should be me, me, me. Then I think it's time for you to start questioning that friendship. And the second one is that frenemies are people that will always be, uh, your mind will never be so settled with some part of your mind may tell you are you sure this person is your friend uh you may have be having doubts there's sometimes we just meet people and our mind just tells us you have to be more conscious you have to be more sensitive about your um people about your environment for you to be able to pick up on things like um like these little things you have to be sensitive enough for you to be able to pick up on such little things and third one is they mask honesty or complaints or nags with humor there's a house of proverb that says the wasa akifadama maokachiyana hauka, which means is you don't tell a mad person he's mad, you jokingly tell a mad person they're mad. So this is what frenemies usually do. They never come out right to tell you, oh, I'm having a problem with you, or oh, you did this, you did that. They just keep saying <laughs> so <laughs> they just keep beating around the bush and beating around the bush and and uh, they never really come straight to tell you. Notice their behavior when you during your time of successes. They're always like, oh, on this might dies like literally it dies that way and you don't know because you're probably in your bubble so you have to be more sensitive to pick up on things like this pick up on people that are happier when you're falling or are happier when they are doing way better than you like it's okay for you to succeed just do not succeed more than i am succeeding look out for those friends they are not your friends they're your frenemies Frenemies always have something to say about everybody and not in a good way. They always have everybody's uh, matter in the palm of their hands. They can always dig up 
talk and uh, tell you oh this person did this, this person messed up people's secrets aren't safe with them and they bring it all to your table don't be comfortable talking about it with them because you just might be the next topic what are they saying about you with other people because if they're bringing people's just to you they just might be taking other people's talk to, um other your talk to other people as well so you have to be careful what you're tabling or who you're tabling your life issues with because some people may be happy you may think they're happy um being therefore you are she being part of your problems because most times believe a problem shared the problem have solved yes but you have to be careful who you are sharing that particular problem with uh they are also very insensitive to your emotions yes they never pick up on things that bother you because you really don't matter much in the scheme of things they love you no they don't or they honestly don't but they put up a facade probably because they need something for you or they need your presence or you're probably the duff uh the person the sidekick that would just be there as soon as you attain stardom or queen venus it becomes a problem they thrive on insecurities they want you to remain insecure they buttress your insecurities they're never there to uplift you most times they're in as much as they are saying oh you're good at this they're probably countering it with something that will suppress that good feeling to make you remain subdued because they honestly don't want you to move ahead of them not that they don't want you to move just not ahead of them with your friend and me you're always expected to feel bad something that is just supposed to die down they might expand it and start making you feel more self-conscious than you should uh if you're worrying about your weight or for guys you don't have beard or things aren't going so well your friend is supposed to be there for you to tell you things as they are if your friend isn't honest with you then i think you should check your friends but if this friend and me keeps sugarcoating it and not telling you what it is and always just trying to slightly make sure things work out to only their favor then i think you need to be more aware of that friend because you just don't know how far this jealousy how far this um backstabbing behavior can go and i hope you don't ever have to find out how far it really can go so have you ever had a friend of me tell me about it uh drop your comments in the comment section let me know and let's get talking if you've had a friend of me you will know that this is for reals yes pretend is everywhere people will be betraying people backstabbing people and um you see quotes like oh thank god i'm stronger i don't look like what i've been through and um all that so if you've been part of this you've resurrected or you just dealt with it recently hit me up and let's talk in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to bkss yep it comes every sunday 7 p.m west african time and for me don't forget to live to laugh and to love because love is the greatest of them all